Though every TR-69 session is initiated by the CPE endpoint, sometimes it's necessary for the ACS to request that the CPE contact it immediately. To do this, TR-69 defines a connection request mechanism in CWMP, which allows the ACS to stimulate the CPE to begin a session. The most basic connection request is a simple HTTP GET on a URL defined by the CPE, defined in the connection request URL parameter of the management server object in the CPE data model. This parameter is included in every inform the CPE makes to ensure that the ACS knows the URL. This HTTP GET is authenticated by the CPE using a username and password specific to the ACS. Usually, the ACS will set this username and password after a CPE contacts it for the first time. These are defined in the connection request username and connection request password parameters of the management server object. Once the HTTP GET is authenticated, the CPE sends an HTTP response with a 200 OK or 204 no content status code. This tells the ACS that the CPE received and understood the request. The response needs to happen immediately and before any session triggered by the request occurs. If the CPE receives more than one connection request before the first session occurs, it must still respond to them, but only begin one session as a result. If the CPE is already in a session with the ACS when it receives a connection request, it can't terminate that session prematurely. Instead, it can send a 503 service unavailable status code or it can wait for the current session to finish before starting the requested session. When it's ready, the CPE starts the new session within 30 seconds of receiving the connection request and includes the six connection request event code in its inform call. The session then proceeds as normal. There's one caveat to connection requests. They require that the CPE can be reached by the ACS over HTTP. For endpoints that may reside behind a gateway, this is not the case thanks to network address translation or firewall rules. To get around this, Tier 69 Annex K defines a way to perform connection requests over XMPP. More on that later. If you have any questions about Tier 69 or CD Router, be sure to check out our collection of training and testing guides at www.qacafe.com/university.